Alright, in this video, I'm going to be showing more about how I started carving with the Genmitsu 3030 Prover Max from Saintsmart. I have been using many different kinds of software, and I started out using a program called Easel that was online. And it is very easy to make signs with it. It had a trial version, but it was very limited. You could expand it, but it cost about $500. Once the trial ran out, I couldn't really use it. After that, I started out with some plywood. Plywood doesn't really cut very well. It splinters a lot. So I cut up some cherry countertop that I had to try to use hardwood. And those pieces are two and a half inches by four inches. The next software that I tried was called Desk Proto. Fairly easy to learn, and it takes CAD from another program and creates the CNC G code that you can import into the program Candle that exports the G code into your CNC machine. I found a program called FreeCAD, and I actually joined some user groups, and a lot of people were using this program FreeCAD. It is an absolutely free download, they do accept donations, um, but it also has a CNC uh, portion of it, so it'll you can actually do the CAD and the CNC, create the G code with the same program. It will do standard shapes. You can do custom shapes. It's just it's a really nice three-dimensional um, computer-aided drafting or CAD program. It also will do text strings. So for sign making, you can get the CNC router tip to just follow the text string, which is really nice. Makes making signs very easy. I'm still going a little too deep with this size text, so I'm going to go back, change it to a shallower depth, and I will be back in one second. With those small pieces of wood, the small fonts break out in between the letters. I still need to work on what font I use. Um, apparently how to get it up off the platform. The font choice, um, the size, it's a little small maybe for the font that I picked. So this this glue should, this tape should just come right up off the piece. Yeah. So the, the tape stays together but it comes right off. We'll try another one. Uh, plywood, this is plywood, so it's not going to be great, but I am going to try a different font and uh, be back in one second. these little signs two words is about all I can do um, one thing I am going to do I'm going to try this exact same sign with this grinding bit I want to see what what the difference that would make over the V bit engraver when I design these this is the plane that I'm working on not the surface here so we start here so I always zero at this corner makes it easier so I don't depend on the actual thickness of the starting block. I'm just starting wherever that top is. I made a plate that will, if the router gets too low, it won't dig into the metal plate. There's a throwaway sacrificial piece of wood there that it will grind out. I'm going to be getting more tools to do different types of signs, and I'm also going to start working on carving and making more mechanical parts. So we'll see how that turns out. While that was going, I did some work on this one, gave it a light sand, painted the letters in, sanded it again to remove the paint. It doesn't look too bad. You know, if you set this by your by your coffee pot, 
Um, you don't need a holder, it's wide enough if you make it thick enough. If it's thin, you, you probably need a holder, but just some, you know, you could use different fonts, you could put different pictures in it. Very cool, and very neat looking. Um, it still has the, the uh, cut in engraved look to it. Um, you know, maybe, maybe you could use white instead of black. All kinds of different ways to, to go about this. This is, this is a piece of leftover cherry um, countertop. It was thick, and I, I cut it down into pieces, split it in, into thin sections. The time it takes to design and cut is, is substantial. You can't discount that. But, you know, if you sell this for five bucks or something, who knows? And then you can get custom orders to, to make a little bit more money. So, anyway, hey, thanks for watching, and stay tuned for more engraving.